exceeds all expectations. X, experience the extreme. Only at Six Flags Magic Mountain. Now, the extreme park. The year is 2001 and Arrow Dynamics is about to unveil the next revolutionary roller coaster to the world. Its name? X. X2, formerly known as X, is a steel roller coaster located at Six Flags Magic Mountain in Valencia, California. It was manufactured by Arrow Dynamics and opened on January 12, 2002. X was the world's first fourth-dimensional roller coaster, which means that the seats rotate independently of the track. Riders were seated in pairs, back to back, and faced either forwards or backwards. The coaster traveled up and down a series of hills and drops while the seats rotated 360 degrees in either direction. The ride also included two inversions, including an inside raven turn and an outside raven turn. This inversion is basically a half loop and can be entered from the top or bottom with the train on top of the track or suspended below the track. In a traditional roller coaster, riders face forward and the track determines the direction of travel. But with a fourth dimensional coaster, the seats can rotate up to 360 degrees, allowing riders to experience twists and turns in a whole new way. This creates a sensation of flying and free falling, as riders feel like they're spinning and flipping through the air. Other examples of fourth dimensional coasters include Ijinaika at Fuji Q Highland in Japan and Batman, the ride at Six Flags Fiesta, Texas. These coasters are known for their intense and thrilling ride experiences and are popular attractions at amusement parks around the world. X, now known as X2, was built by Arrow Dynamics, a now defunct manufacturer of roller coasters and amusement park rides. The ride was designed by Alan Shilker, who worked for Arrow Dynamics at the time, and was manufactured at Arrow's facility in Utah. I don't know Alan Shilker personally, but he must be a nut. Totally insane. Most roller coasters today um, are basically trying to uh, simulate one thing, and, and that's what a jet pilot can do in a jet. And uh, there's a lot more crazy things going out there with people skydiving and things, and so I'm just trying to do what I can to duplicate and emulate those moves and let everybody else do them. It's hard to compare X to other coasters. You really need to compare it to other experiences, like uh, being a trapeze artist, leaping from somebody's arms, doing a flip in the air and being caught by somebody else, or uh, going over a waterfall, or being in a train wreck. I don't know. It's, it's, <laughs> it's such an overwhelming experience that you get out of it and you say, what happened? I gotta go again. Construction of X began in 2000 and took about a year and a half to complete. The coaster's track and supports were assembled on site, with the tallest section of the ride standing at over 200 feet tall. The coaster's unique fourth dimension trains were also built on site, with a total of four trains used to operate the ride. After the ride was constructed, it underwent extensive testing and safety inspections before it was cleared to open to the public in January 2002. Since then, the ride has undergone several modifications and upgrades, including a major overhaul in 2008 that transformed it into the X2 coaster that stands today. Resist. X2 featured new trains as well as an on-ride sound system to be played throughout the ride experience. It also came with special fire effects during the ride. Although causing Arrow Dynamics bankruptcy, X remains one of the most unique roller coasters ever built. Thank you for watching the video. I hope you enjoyed it and tune in for the next episode of Coaster Archives. 
Leave suggestions on what coaster we should look into next. See you again very soon.